right. Well, thank you for joining me, everybody. Um, I have been asked plenty of questions about uh, minimalist footwear and barefoot running, and uh, I just wanted to finally give my two cents based on my experience and my uh, uh, my collection of footwear. So what I want to hopefully do is maybe answer some questions but also help to create some discussion. So please, you know, send me messages or let me know what you think. All right. First of all, all right, I want to talk about the fact that when I first got into minimalist running, um, it was sort of a, a gradual transition. I was trying to find the cheapest way about going about doing it. So um, I started out looking for just inexpensive footwear to train in or to work out in. Uh, and I guess you could say I sort of started out with a pair of shoes I already had, which were a pair of old Kung Fu shoes. Um, and these weren't too bad, uh, except for an issue that I had where I felt like the heel was a little raised. And if you notice that um, the actual base of the sole is relatively narrow, and so my feet would tend to roll out to the outsides of it quite a bit, and you can see some wear on the outside where the leather is here quite a bit. Um, so these were not too bad, uh, but I wouldn't necessarily suggest them if, unless you just happen to have them in your house. Uh, all right, so again, when another low-budget route uh, kind of looks like a martial arts shoe, but these are actually by a company called Zem, Z-E-M, Zem Gear. And uh, this is sort of their first generation uh, tabby, or their, their uh, uh, two-toed, split-toe shoe. And this is a very, very, very minimalist shoe. Feels really good. Uh, the only problem, again, with this is that since the sole was so narrow, I actually wound up wearing out the sides right here. The seam came apart. Uh, you know, I don't really wear these anymore, and especially right here. I was putting a lot of wear down on them and they just wore out completely. So they lasted about 30 days before I completely, you know, started boring holes through them. Uh, but not a bad shoe. Uh, I hear they're coming out with a newer generation. I haven't checked those out yet. They're probably coming out sometime this month. Uh, so hopefully I'll try them out and I'll let you know. Uh, Alright, so moving on. Now, I eventually, uh, and actually some of you probably remember, if any of you have seen my other video, these were the original pair of harachas that I ever had. And I made these out of a truck inner tube tire. And I actually did a previous video. If you scroll down, you'll see the other video. Um, these weren't bad, uh, other than the material here was so stretchy and flexible because it's a truck inner tube. And it was so thin that I actually had thorns and sharp objects go through this and stick into my foot. Uh, wasn't really very protective, um, but very minimalist. Uh, but again, not very protective. So I wound up having to scrap these. I don't really wear these ever at all. Uh, so, now, that design was based off of a shoe called a Haracha, which uh, I got the idea from a guy named Steve Sashin, who has InvisibleShoes.com. And, uh, or InvisibleShoe.com and uh, he has a modern take on a classic uh, Mexican Tarahumara Indian running sandal and uh, that these are them. I actually bought these and made them myself from his kit that he sells. Uh, these are my hands down my favorite piece of minimalist footwear that I own and they were the most reasonable priced out of everything that I own um, and uh, these uh, for me, because I have such a big foot, these ran $25 for me. Um, I followed his instructions on, on YouTube that he has, which is, again, if you do a you search for invisible shoe uh, or uh, harachas, they'll come up. Uh, so these were great, and they come in different colored laces. I, I prefer the black, uh, but the, you know, different colors suit you, you know. And I like them so much, that I even made my wife a pair of them and uh, she likes them, takes them out, walks around with them quite a bit. Uh, so then, um, because I actually am a American College of Sports Medicine Health Fitness Specialist, I tend, I work in a gym and walk, running around with open-toed shoes just doesn't fly in the fitness industry, hopefully one day, but as of right now, no it doesn't. 
Um, so I actually wound up having to buy a pair of uh, Terra Plana uh, Evo 2, I'm sorry, these are Vivo Barefoot Evo 2. And uh, these are the second generation shoe. I had the first generation shoe, which came in red and black, but the problem was one of the eyelets in here ripped free, and then right along the seam started peeling away from the upper to the lower. And that happened within the first week of me owning the first generation shoe. So I quickly replaced, got rid of those, got them, uh, got them returned, and then I bought these. And I tell you, as far as minimalist footwear, these are up to par with the Harachas as far as comfort and feel and when I go running in these or I train in these. The only negative thing is that these are a lot more expensive. These are a lot more expensive than the Harachas. Uh, but if you can't handle wearing Harachas, these are a fine, op you know, fine shoe to wear. Um, now some other companies like Merrill have come out with shoes. I think these are considerably more minimalist uh, as far as you don't feel anything supporting or cupping your your feet anywhere it just feels like a flat sole all right um, so speaking about Merrill I actually went ahead and purchased a shoe a minimalist shoe there uh, I believe this is known as the Merrill tough glove or their barefoot tough glove and as you can see you know in this one is the trail glove um, I was actually wearing these earlier today. Uh, they're not a bad shoe. These are more when I'm wearing some slacks or if I'm wearing uh, some khakis or something that I have to, you know, I'm not going to be, I'm more business casual. I might wear these. Um, I don't train in these very often. Um, usually it's just by chance that if I'm wearing them and I need to go train, then I wear them. Um, but I don't prefer them to train in just because they're all leather and they're kind of warm but they're a good shoe not too bad uh, if you can handle it um, but if you're a hardcore minimalist probably are not going to be crazy about these to wear around you might be okay with wearing these for a run especially if you're in some pretty rugged terrain and the same goes for these as you can see the soles on these are, are darn near identical okay um, but the trail glove is a little bit uh, more uh, ventilated and it's a good shoe as well. Um, part of this arch feel here you're going to notice and I think other people have mentioned on their blogs they find it a little intrusive at first and these feel a little clunky at first. Um, they eventually do when you start running in them and start really doing some hard training and lateral movement, uh, sprinting, field sprints, cone drills this is a great shoe to have. Um, I've had no problems with it. I love it uh, for that purpose. Um, and not only that, they kind of look stylish. You, know, you can kind of get away with wearing these and nobody has any idea that you're wearing a minimalist shoe unless they own a pair of these themselves. Um, and as you can see, uh, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty minimal. They wrap up pretty good. They're not, uh, there's not really too much going on there as far as support, but that's a good thing. Um, Right, and just also to point out a couple of other things that I just happen to have, uh, my wife invested in a pair of Newtons because she couldn't get with the full-on transition into a minimalist running. It just was uh, kind of uncomfortable for her initially. Uh, so we picked up a pair of these. Uh, she actually really likes these. Um, I tried on a pair of Newtons and I wasn't crazy about them. I actually, the, the idea of having this heel and feeling so elevated off the ground, um, it just felt too much like a classic tennis shoe and I really just don't like wearing regular classic tennis shoes anymore. Um, and one interesting thing is that if you can see this, I don't know if the camera will zoom in or not, or not zoom in, but focus on this, they're raised right across the transverse arch, which is where on your foot. Um, and these, these are lugs and they actually have some more of a, like a cushioning not cushioning, but some sort of a resistance. So when you land, it provides some level of shock absorption. Um, me personally, I prefer to do the shock absorbing myself with my own muscularity. I don't like a shoe to do some shock absorbing for me. So, um, but you know, if you're transitioning, going too far minimalist is just too hardcore for you. This is a good shoe to transition in. Yet again, um, these are very expensive. 
uh, in comparison to a general tennis shoe. Um, also to point out, I had mentioned about the Zem Gear shoe that I have. Uh, they also make a single toe, round toe shoe. These are also my wife, my wife's, and she actually, you know, enjoys wearing these and slipping these on. Um, and aside from that, uh, you know, I guess again, if you get into minimalist running, the key is to not do too much too soon. Uh, your body is not used to it. If you're not, if you've ever done it, you're not used to it. Uh, it does. I don't care how far you run, how often you run. The first time you start training minimalist footwear, you have to pretend like you're doing it for the first time in your entire life, like you're a baby learning how to walk again. Uh, and and progress from there. That's probably the safest way to do it. And also make sure that you're listening to your body. You don't want to do something too much too soon. That's how people get all kinds of stress fractures in their feet or people are talking about having Achilles tendonitis. Um, other than that, uh, I think it, it has changed my life as far as my training. My performance has gotten better. I did five years in the Marine Corps and I'm actually running farther and faster now as a minimalist runner than I ever did the whole time I was in the military. Uh, so uh, please, if you have any questions, shoot me a message on YouTube and uh, I hope I can you know, answer more questions and if you also have any other questions about training in general, uh, I'm, always, I'm always game. Okay, well, this is Jason signing off and uh, I hope you keep on running injury free. Thank you.